we have discovered the double jump in Super Auto Pets. Whenever a pet with a jump ability is given an onion, it'll jump to the front, trigger the ability, and then the onion pushes it to the back, only for it to jump back to the front immediately after. The ramifications of this with Loveland Frogman need no further explanation. Also, early on in this channel, I made a decision to try out live streaming once we hit 500 subs. We're actually getting really close to that now, which is beyond crazy to me. Thank you so much for everyone who subbed. If you haven't subbed and you'd like to come check out a live stream, consider dropping a sub. Love to have you around. But for now, let's jump right in. Not bad. Be some evil masks. Like that movie. What movie was that? I kind of forget. Was it called The Mask? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a movie just called The Mask. It's a good one. It's a banger, I'm sure. Uh, that was not supposed to combine, but here we are. Maybe it'll work out in our favor. Yeah. I don't know if it worked out better than it would have otherwise, but... We're here. We got it. Start me with the pug. Roll. I think we can rock a kangaroo behind our Tsuchinoko. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I don't know if that's the most efficient use of garlic. Just instantly nuking the pet with garlic. But hey, I respect it. Roll me. Okay. We could potentially rock a fish here. Let's get some level ups. Where are all the level ups hiding? I like that. Looking for an otter. Okay. We're doing it. We're getting there. Five hearts. That's where we like to be. Start me with a level. What if we just get a whole swarm of Suchinokos? That sounds kind of good. Um, not yet though. I don't think we do that quite yet, because we gotta hit the frog first, you know? That's like step number one. Can't be jumping around to step number five. Holy moly, what the heck was that? I don't know what just happened. Romy. Hang on to you for a second. Come on. Come on. Alright. You have two experience. Put on you. Hang on to this Suchinoko. Oh dude, what I would do for a clownfish right now. Oh baby. That would be wonderful. We're doing alright for ourselves though. You can't be upset with this turnout so far. Ever banana you? Probably not. <laughs> That's, uh, in hindsight, that probably doesn't sound that good, huh? We could rock a bison. Consider it. Kangaroo's obviously gonna go. We're not- let's not pretend ourselves here. Mmm, the rice dolphin. Back at it. Okay, level me. Um, ooh, I did that backwards. My bad. Do we do the clownfish thing? Is that even good? I guess we probably want to get rid of the fish, right? Roll me a couple times here. We could go for the level 3 fish. 
Now, you know what? I like this. This makes significantly more sense to me. We're not trying to be crazy or nothing here. But we do need to find the Suchinoko, like yesterday, for the bison. Okay, good, good. Everyone's getting stats. Love to see that. That's fine. Not worried at all. Okay, we are on the target tier. Tier number five. Honestly, wait on the fairy dust until we get some, some stuff going. Um, <laughs> let's see. Frog? What if we get rid of the pug? What if we get rid of the lynx? The bison. <laughs> that probably makes more sense, you know, if we're gonna be real here. We probably don't need the bison right now. Okay. So you're gonna buff you, which means you're gonna get extra stats. Nice. All right, we're getting there. We're getting going a little bit. All right, just give me like infinite doubles, okay? I'm not asking for much. <laughs> just infinite doubles, please. That is fantastic. I would be fine replacing a a clownfish with a Suchinoko. If we can find one. Uh, we could maybe rock two of you. Let's think about it. Not really our priority though. Ooh, that's nice. We're up to seven. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Tier three, sure. I mean, maybe the clownfish is gone, you know? He's just a silly little three, four, right? How important is that to us? See, this is what I mean though. Like the pug isn't even getting to jump. <laughs> He's just getting insta sniped every round. I like this. I think we do this now. So the pug probably gonna go. Realistically. Yeah, dude, the pug is just getting nuked <laughs> every single time. It's terrible. Oh, the horror. Alright, I like this setup better. Now we're actually getting scaling. Oh, he knows what's up. That's how you gotta do it, just go infinite Tsuchinokos. Definitely give you a potato. Maybe we can get him to level 3 here. We got a lot of lives to work with. Holy cannoli, these guys are enormous. <laughs> this is late game for you. What the heck? We're only on turn 15 and they're all 50-50s. Roll me. We're looking for a frog, man. That's tempting. Um, I really feel like we need a frog here. There's a lot of snakes, though. Dang, 
this is really how it works, huh? It's the only thing you can do. There's the frogman. Target acquired. Okay, we got some snipes on him. <laughs> we're off by one. What the heck? Dude, I thought we were doing great. And then all of a sudden everyone's 50-50 across the board. How does that work? They changed the weekly? <laughs> Hold up. Something's changed. Okay. Let's try the newer weekly. Yeah, alright. Cool. I mean, that's great. <laughs> I think the weekly was having a little, little bit of trouble there. We'll be some dry herbs. Okay. I think we draw here, yeah. That means next round is a freebie. If we lose, doesn't really matter. If we win, that'd be cool. If we draw, it doesn't matter. Okay, rock a bluebird. Thank you for hitting the one guy with the sell ability. <laughs> of course. That's looking, eh, fine. Same as a loss. But now we get a level. Rock a little something like this. Any chance we're going to food build here today? We don't have any any squirrels, which is making it a little less exciting for me. I think we maybe pass on the, the worms for today. Oh baby, we're on the board. Look at that. That is wonderful news. That's a lot of worms, dude. What the heck? Um... I know this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but I... The, that number of worms makes me feel like there's gonna be more. <laughs> and I know that's absolutely ludicrous, don't get me wrong. Uh, that's not at all how that works, but... I just can't help but feel it, you know? I run you here. Honestly? I know I did this backwards, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I'd rather just get two Bigfoots here, right? I'm not actually sure if it's gonna trigger. Because I think the Minotaur is just gonna be too good. But in the future... <laughs> <laughs> when the Minotaur isn't so busted. Um, Jackalope. Seems alright. Rock a Jackalope here. Throwing a Garlic on you. Brain Cramp. That seems great. Okay, so this is like an entirely different weekly than I was playing earlier. Um, I don't know what was going on there. Straight up, it's, I'm at a loss. <laughs> but I like this one better so far. Any weekly that doesn't have a fig, I'm a fan. Okay, go here. The Bigfoot's tricky because he's very rarely actually going to trigger. I think we do something like this. Be tier four. Baboon's not really cutting it. Ooh, that's huge. We could do a door head as well. Maybe you don't need a door head though. What's he actually doing for us that these guys aren't? Hey. Keep your hands off my jackalope, jackrabbit. What is he called? Yeah, jackalope, okay. Dude. <laughs> now this is looking good. Alright. Go here. 
There aren't very many snipes, so I'm willing to throw in a, an eat me cake here. And honestly... If I can find another jump guy, I'll get rid of the jackalope for sure. I could do fairy dust too, don't get me wrong, but... That doesn't seem necessary here. That is a large cricket, what the heck? I didn't even see him back there until the end. Okay. Throw in a crow. We're looking to get you leveled ASAP. Maybe. Uh, I think we do this. This just makes sense. Hold on to you, and then we'll throw in the Tsuchinoko, I think. Unless we just give Fairy Dust to a better pet. Maybe that's the way to do it. You know, we've already got the Tsuchinoko here. Hey. He's sniping my brain cramp. What the heck is that all about? He didn't even get to jump. Dude, a wolf could be kind of good. Does this count as jumping? Maybe. If it does, that'd be kind of... Well, I don't actually think that would be that good. Hold on to the wolf. Wolf is interesting to me. Um, but we need fairy dust on him. That's, that's the tricky part that I'm having trouble with. Uh, I think we do this. We could do a fly as well, <laughs> instead of the wolf. That would be dirty, as far as the minotaur goes. This guy's only got a level 1 minotaur. What is he doing? Okay. Actually, <laughs> this works out perfectly, so you're going to be a level 3 with the gingerbread. Alright, let's see how this goes. This is looking, this is looking prime time right here. They do have a sniper though, so that is important to keep in mind. Don't hit you, thank you. Dude, 6-6 <laughs> six, six every time they jump, how insane is that? I'll tell you how insane. Mega insane. Um. I guess we'll do soft ice. Like, we can throw the frog in here. And then just override the gingerbread at some point. I don't. Does, is that good? I'm not sure. <laughs> They're all jumping. Dude, this strategy is busted. What is going on right now? <laughs> I think they need to rebalance this frog, man. This guy's going kind of hard. Level me here. I don't think we need that. I mean, straight up, I'll throw a fly in the mix. A level up fly, I should say. And then roll me once. Get you going. Honestly, dude, we don't even care about this guy, right? What's that extra two attack gonna do? <laughs> you know? I would argue not a whole lot. What the heck just happened? <laughs> what is that? What did I just witness? He did a double jump. Dude. <laughs> that is fantastic. You can give him onions and jump several times. Alright. 
<laughs> New target acquired. Um, roll me. Yeah, because empty front space can apply more than once. All I want is an onion now. There it is. <laughs> um, well, I guess that won't really work for you, right? Because you're going to override the onion when you jump. Let's see how this works. I'm, I'm curious now. I don't know how this is going to line up. But I want to know. Yeah, okay, so that's not going to cut it for that specific implementation. Okay, well that's good to know. Um, let's do... Dude, <laughs> if they are, weren't already basically 50-50, I would totally put a tiger behind this guy. That seems amazing. Um, the fly isn't doing a whole lot. I'm wondering if we're better off throwing a bear in the mix. Just as a little extra snipe value. Yeah, I think we do that. Weird setup. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be doing, to be honest. But hey, that that goes kind of hard. This jump build. <laughs> I think they need to nerf the frog. I think it needs to be a plus one plus two base or something. I don't. I don't know how to nerf it, but it that scaling is insane. Let's just put it that way. All right, give me an and give me a seahorse. I love me a bluebird. It'll be some famous puddings. Can't really think of any famous puddings right now, but I'm sure there's quite a few of them, right? I'd reckon probably. And a couple crickets. I think I'd rather do it like this. Bluebird really digging that ant, huh? And we are good. Love it. Two wins and two rounds. Can't dream it up any better. Run a big foot here. Level me. I mean, I love me a giraffe here, you know. Maybe we giraffe the Bigfoot. Get him cooking a little bit. Dude, now I can't unsee the... The tiger bug onion strat. It's so strong. Beautiful. Let's see what we got. Ooh, level me. Brain cramp is always huge. Here to you. Throw you in the mix. Roll me. Sure. I think we can work with this. It's a lot of jumping. <laughs> okay. And we draw. Sure. I didn't think we were going to draw that one. thought we were going to lose for sure. Um, roll me. We could throw in a dog. Just as a little low buffing. Good. Level me. Rootling is pretty good. Let's throw you in the mix. Hold on to a broccoli for him, too. A 
love me some good broccoli roots. <laughs> Whatever that is. Oh no. That is tragic. Freeze you. I kind of feel like we want to put it on you, just so you're not completely useless. Okay, he's going for a little scaling action. I respect it. And it pays off, okay. Alright, start me out with a level here. I feel like the dog's gotta go. Maybe do something like this. Get a crocodile going, hold on to our chocolate here. Let's keep our rerolls. We don't need them. We don't need to use them right now. Fantastic. Yeah, dude, Worm of Sand. I've, I've been there, I've tried it. Don't bother. <laughs> it's not gonna do it for you. Um, this is fantastic here. Oh, dude, come on. That is so good. Now we just go mega jump, guys, and we're killing it. Oh, he's got the guy. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. We're up to tier five now. Go here, hold on, no, don't hold the onion quite yet. Tiger bug is a necessity. Probably get rid of Bigfoot, right? We can go tiger bug, onion, the dream. We can hold on to these free rerolls until they slot in nicely. Stop hitting me. What just happened? <laughs> Hold on. Can we revisit that for a second? So they go through, do all this stuff. Because you, friend ahead feign, steal four damage to the highest health enemy. So at this point, you jump forward, smack him twice, then jump back. Oh, the egg got me. Okay. <laughs> I thought it, it counted his own feint. I was like, what the heck? All right. JK, lol, we're back. Um, roll me. Big. Roll me again. Huge. Hold on to some chocolate. Frog me. Alright. The so next up, we're looking for a big old frog, man. Okay, they don't have many snipes, just this one drop there. Uh, let's go a little quicker, please. Oh, dude. <laughs> we have discovered the double jump. What the heck? Alright. Um, yeah, I think we do this. Roll me. I'm just rolling for another Frogman. Frogman or chocolate, both would be fantastic. <laughs> this is my new favorite interaction in all of Super Auto Pets. I'm not even exaggerating, this is so fun. Huge. And then we'll get you up. And then we're cooking. 
Because not only do you get twice your triggers, you also get double... You get 12-12 a turn from this guy. <laughs> He's already 50-50. This is absurd. Actually wild right now. Roll me. I think we do this. If I can find another onion, I'll throw in another tiger bug. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Hold on to you. You're only buffing the one guy right now. Maybe we throw in a tiger bug here. Dude, you sniped my my other tiger bug. What the heck? What's that all about? So we could summon another guy, maybe? I don't know if that's really worth it, though. I think we're rolling here. I think we actually start with you in the front now. Just so these guys have a better shot at getting scaled. Melon is huge. Alright, now we're giving onions. <laughs> we're looking for a bunch of onions now. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's sniping our one good guy. Whatever. I'll take my win, but I'm not happy about it. Maybe this will help make you slightly more resilient. There we go. Wonder why he didn't jump again. The little... Our little tiger bug friend. <laughs> well, anyway. This, this is peak gameplay right here, by the way. This is what you want to see. <laughs> Absolutely absurd. I love it.